quite comfortable in terms of the way that I feel like Capacity London and also e-project consult has made me feel very comfortable with the whole process of traveling and uh, it felt completely all right whilst we got here and I haven't felt out of place or unnerved in any situation so far. Um, I felt quite safe traveling during Covid. Uh, we were obviously quite used to the rules by then so it wasn't really anything different. At the airport we obviously had to wear our masks and they had measures in place to make sure that we were socially distant. Um, yeah, it didn't make much difference. I feel it's fine. It's a little bit different. We must wear masks, but it's okay. Uh, it was the first time traveling. Um, it was nice. I was a bit afraid to uh, fly, but everything went well and we got a good flight. Uh, yes, it's different than before, but it's possible. And I felt quite safe during my flight and traveling, my training or dancing in the time. Yes, I did the swap um, in Spain uh, and I got the results three days later. And then when we came here, we got the plus test and it went, we got the results the same day. Yeah, I got tested before I left Aberdeen. I had to get a private test because um, I couldn't get one on the NHS because I didn't have symptoms. And then we got tested again when we arrived here. In some ways, yes. But I think that it's also been a very good response in terms of that everyone is being responsible. People wearing the masks when they need to is safe. I think that's paramount in this whole experience that people are trying to um, make us as safe as possible whilst being able to experience. No more. I think here is a little good. <laughs> uh, people in Slovakia are a little bit scared, but people uh, I met in Italy they seem pretty calm about the situation. I don't think it's made my stay here difficult. I think I'm getting the same experience now as I would have gotten if Covid hadn't been here. You can see there's like a few shops or restaurants that are maybe closed um, obviously because of it, but Everything's quite similar, I think. No, uh, I don't think so. I think that it's, it has made me feel um, worried at some points when there's large groups of people in the streets or something, but I haven't felt actively worried about it um, whilst I've been at work or in the accommodation. Uh, I think everyone's taking the precautions that they can to it implement safety where it is possible. At work I have to wear my mask um, and for the shop I think people have to make appointments before coming in but that's just how it was at home so it's not any different really. Mm -hmm. And do you feel safe in work? Yeah I feel very safe in work. They've got all the measures in place to make sure that I'm always safe and I'm never coming into like too close contact with anyone. So yeah, I feel very safe. No, it didn't have a lot of impact in my workplace because um, whenever I feel like I can progress on the work from home, I do that and then we need to catch up. So it's not um, like I'm here uh, full time the whole day and we can still manage to keep the work progressing. Mm -hmm. And do you feel safe in the gallery when you're here? Yes. I tend to think that it is, I feel almost in a way that I've escaped from a lot of the pandemic. It hasn't reached Sicily in the same way as it has in the UK. And I also feel like the way that everyone is responding to it is taking it very seriously is like, this could be something that's quite severely uh, troubling for a community. So I think that everyone's taking safety precautions seriously. So in order to reduce the uh, potential threat that that could pose to the local communities. Um, I don't think it's impacted it too much. Like I said before, I think 
I'm still getting pretty much the same experience, especially with work. Everything I do is digital, it's all like online. Um, it's not as if I'm going to be in crowds of people or anything. So I think I would just be doing the exact same. Great, thank you. Thanks. <laughs>